Hi guys, Melissa here at TCG Crafts. Today we're gonna make something super easy and simple, something a little bit different, but super pretty for the holidays. So this is a cemetery cross. It does have the stakes for you to put it into the ground and it only requires a few supplies. So I thought this would be a good little project, perfect for the upcoming holidays. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the cross base. We do have these in stock. We just got them in. We have a limited supply of them. Let me give you the SKU number. It is V as in Victor, C as in Charlie, 002. So it comes folded up and it has the little um, stake attached. So we are gonna just take that off and in, in the back, there is a little screw. And you just unscrew that. And that gives you the ability to make the cross shape. So I'm going to take this off. And I'm just gonna flip this around because I want my pine branches facing this way. and then screw this back on. Not too tight, we wanna make sure we get our cross leveled up here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We look pretty level, so I'm just gonna tighten that little screw. So now we have our pine cross base. I'm just gonna fluff out some of these branches now we're not gonna add a whole lot to this just because it is gonna be outside in the elements and you know, with the rain and the snow and all of that, it's just not gonna last that long. So we don't wanna add too many things that's gonna get just destroyed in the weather. So this artificial pine will hold up pretty good um, and we're just gonna add just a few things to go into it but not too much. Okay, I didn't tighten this up very tight, so let me tighten this up a little bit tighter. There we go. Okay, so we've got our branches fluffed out. That's just gonna be there to hold some of our picks and sprays that we're gonna put in here. We are gonna take two of these sprays that just came in. Let me give you the skew on these. They are in the shop. It is V as in Victor, S as in Sam, zero, zero, 001. So we're gonna take two of these and we're gonna cut them up. Actually, for the first one, I'm not gonna cut up. The first one, I'm just going to, if you see what I did, this was all facing up, I'm gonna take this bottom one, I'm gonna face it down. I'm gonna take these and move them to the sides to make that like a cross shape. And then we're gonna lay this in here give our placement now obviously I don't need this pick that long so I'm going to cut it off just a little bit and I'm going to use my stem cutter this pick is a little thick So those stem cutters, they're a little pricey, but they are worth every penny. And you can get those at um, decocraftsupplies.com. That's my affiliate link for Deco Exchange. They usually carry them in stock. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay this down, got my placement, and I'm gonna use these little ties, the little pine ties, and just tie around that around that stem and then we'll add a little bit of glue Ooh, it's getting stuck to my ring there we go okay I'll add a little bit of glue I don't want to add too much because we're going to be adding some more things in there you could wait and do the glue after you get them all added okay 
We're going to do the same thing up here. I'm going to take some of these pine ties and just twist around our branches of the spray. And if you didn't want to use, if you wanted it a little bit more flowy, I guess is the word, where they kind of stick out a little bit more, then you don't have to tie them down. You could just glue them in there. But for this base, I want them, I want to make sure they're in there pretty good. There we go. Okay, so we've got our first one. And now we're going to take our second one. Let me see. We might can just get away with one. I'm thinking we are. Let's just use one of these. Yeah. Because we're going to add these other picks in there. And I think this is good for the base. Like I said, we don't want to add too much because it's going to be outside. So I'm going to set that one right there. Okay, now we're going to take three of these. This is CS5014. It's a snow and berry pick that we have in the shop. And we're gonna cut this into pieces. So let's see, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do two pieces. So right here, now I've got this nice chunky piece that will go up here at the top. And then I've got the smaller section Oops, that just came off. So let me glue that. Sometimes that happens. Just glue it back on there. Oops. Okay, while that's drying. So we'll have one up there, one down here, and then we'll do two on the sides. But let's make our bow before we place these in there. So I am using this beautiful traditional red glitter ribbon. We do have some of this in the shop. It is R as in Roger, G as in George, B as in boy, 132758. So I'm gonna move this and let's get my easy bow maker. And I want some short tails kind of coming up. So we have a little bit up here at the top and then we'll have a little bit longer tails at the bottom. So I'm gonna do about a seven inch tail. Just gonna give it a twist so the pretty side is facing up. I'm gonna go to a six inch. So we'll have six inch loops, give it a twist so that the pretty side will be facing up when we make our next loop. And scrunch it down. And we'll cut about there. And again, we're gonna give us about a seven inch tail up top, go in the other direction, twist. So we have two tails sticking up. We're gonna go out to the six again, six inches, twist. And six inches again and scrunch it down. Simple bow. So we have four loops, four loops, two tails up top, two tails on the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna get a zip tie. You can use a pipe cleaner if you prefer. I typically will use a zip tie, sometimes pipe cleaner, but. I'm going to slide this up underneath in the 
the center. Before I pull it out, I'm going to tie it, but not, not too, too tight because we want to pull this and make sure it's right in the center. And then I'm going to take another zip tie and put it in the back. Just like that. Now we'll straighten up our loops before we tie it really tight. Make sure we have them like we want them, get our tails going the right way. Okay, now I'll make it tight and I will cut the back of that off. We are done with our bow maker. You could do any kind of bow here. Um, this is just the one I chose to do. And I'm gonna take a piece that I already have cut off of this ribbon and just fold it onto itself. And we're just gonna wrap it and tie it around the center just to cover that zip tie and just make it nice and finished. So I'm just gonna tie it off in the back. And then we'll Cut that off. You can add just a dab of glue just to make sure it doesn't come untied. Okay. Give that a second to dry. Okay, let's get our cross back. And we're gonna put this bow like right there just in the center. It's just slightly, just slightly above center. And we're just going to take and weave this zip tie around the base of those stems that we placed in here. And then tie it off. Now let's give these some dovetails. So we're just gonna fold. If you don't know how to dovetail, you just take and fold it. And then cut towards the outside and you have a nice little dovetail. If you don't want to dovetail, you can just fold this down. Make sure your wires are folded and you can just leave like that. We're gonna go ahead and dovetail these get this little wire off of here. There we go. We'll do the same thing down here at the bottom. We'll fluff up our loops when we get when we get done because we're gonna add a few things. Well, really, we're just going to add these last, this last spray, but. Okay, so we're going to take the, the chunkier piece that we cut off. Let me turn this so you can see it. And we're just going to slide it down right up underneath this bow. I'm going to get my placement, put some, I'm going to dip it in my glue pot. Slide it up under there. And then I'm going to take again some of these pine ties that are down here and just kind of wrap them around some of these branches just to make sure it stays and then it looks like they're all kind of growing together. So it doesn't look like that's just sitting on top. It looks like it's kind of weaved in there. Okay, so we've got that piece. Okay, I'm gonna take, remember we still have the little piece, but we're gonna use those on the sides. So I'm gonna take another one of these and give us another chunkier piece. So you can see we have the chunkier piece and we're gonna put it towards the bottom. 
And again, I'm gonna do the same thing. Let me get my placement. I'm just going to dip it in my glue pot, slide it up under here, and then take some of these pine ties and twist. When we get done, we can go back and add a little bit of glue to the twist too, just to make sure they don't come undone. Let me find one more. Take our third one, get another chunkier piece. Because the bottom is longer than the top, we're gonna need two of these on the bottom. So we've got one down at the bottom and we're gonna do one right up under the bow like that. So let me dip it in my glue pot, slide it up under the bow and find us some ties. out your berries and your little peppermints, however you like them. Okay. So there we go. Now let's take these little smaller pieces. We'll just need two, so you'll actually have an extra. And I'm going to take and do the same thing, just slide it dip it in my glue pot, slide it up underneath that bow, get a couple twist ties and tie it around the base of that stem. I'll add a little touch of glue to that stem just to make sure. And I'll go back after we're done and just hit it with a little bit of glue all around. Okay, we'll go to the other side. Take our other small piece. And again, we're just gonna tuck it up underneath that bow, dip it in the glue pot, and then take the ties and wrap it around that stem. Give it a little bit of glue. There we go. Super pretty and look how easy, just a few supplies. And now you have, and you're gonna have a little piece left. That's the one that broke, so I didn't use that one. And now you have a really pretty cross for the graveside. It comes with a little stake. You just take and twist it. And now it's ready to go in the ground. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy project. Super pretty. Until next time. Bye guys.